Okay, so for week three, we're going to do some group work. Now what that means is where you've been submitting to me directly, uh, like on our attendance post, you will be able to see each other's post. But the bigger difference is that, of course, this is graded. And in this case, you're going to create uh, a very simple website. Uh, and the way you're going to create it is the content you're going to use ChatGPT to generate the content for your selected topic. Now you get to choose whatever topic you want um, here. Keep it, you know, something that's appropriate for sharing in class in an academic environment. Um, you don't have to focus on web stuff, but you totally can if that's something you want to learn about. I definitely suggest doing something that you are interested in that you might want to learn more about. Okay, now just a heads up, this will be different than what we do for the final project. Um, and the final project um, will be building a whole seven page, I think, site, uh, maybe less. I'll have to go double check those numbers. Uh, and, and in that case, what we're doing this week will g help you get started thinking about, you know, what your topic for that pro final project would be. But this is kind of just a let's see how it goes uh, as far as, you know, doing some chatting or sorry, using chat GPTs. So if you don't already, set up an account, a uh, free account on ChatGPT, chatopensource.com, uh, uh, log in. And in this case, what it'll do is it'll actually have you create an account. Now, I already have an account, so I don't have to do that piece, but you'll need to go through. Again, don't pay for it. Version 3.5 is totally fine for this assignment and probably for a lot of things you might need to do. Now, so... How do you know now use chat to research your selected topic? And this is where just over time everybody got better at searching. This is also something true with prompt writing. Now, you, you can actually make this a profession, it's called prompt engineering. Uh, but this first stage, unless you've already used chat, um, you basically are just going to ask it questions. Now, I have provided you a video here that I think is really good. So if you kind of want to kick your chat skills up to the, or your prompting skills up to the next level, check this out. But in general, you could come over to chat and I could say something like something I'm interested, how to increase my V O to max. Now that's a measurement of how much oxygen you can take into your body. This is something uh, because I run a lot. Uh, I enjoy understanding these concepts. So this is something I'm like, OK, so I would start researching it. Uh, I would want to know, you know, maybe I would ask a follow up question, um, right, that talks about cross training. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff in here, but you can just ask questions and it'll generate content for you. OK, so that's the first thing is just do some of this to get used to it and choose a topic. OK, now once you're ready to go, what you're going to do is you're going to create a W3 folder in your public repo. So let me move over to VS Code here. Um, I was playing around with something a minute ago. And let me make my s little bit larger. So in this case, I'm going to roll up my so this is in your public and it will be W3 uh, and inside of there you're going to end up setting up two of these and an images and actually I've already talked about this idea of where the images would go uh, in the attendance right so we'll come back and talk a little about that when we get to images but the first thing you're going to do is create an index file so what's going to go in this file is and I want you to look at your ending okay your ending from W2 HTML your ending code along. Okay, so here's the example. I was actually just looking at it a few minutes ago and I was like, okay, so you, this, you're not going to lay it out. You're not going to lay out your content, but you need to include all the HTML that we've learned in this section in the index page and in the about page as well. Now our about page will be specific. I'll talk about that in a minute. So you could kind of go through here and see, right? So we are using a heading. Now, you can absolutely lay this out differently, right? Um, you know, but you do want to have those semantic tags in there. You do want to have a nav. You want to have, you could do ordered list here. Now, what will be different uh, on ours is that where he had links that were on page, like learning HTML, this actually went to a part of the page. You could do some of that, but our primary thing will be for uh, navigating between home and the 
the about that I'll talk about in a minute. So if you just want to see an example, here's, and I haven't done any, um, you know, styling. This is really mostly about content. So this would be home, right? The page that I'm on and about. And so about will be the about page. Okay, so that's just, so that's what you're going to do here, right? Is now code along, create a page without the form now. So that's the key is you don't next week. I think we have another one of these. We'll do form and some other CSS that you will have learned at that point. And you can do some CSS, whatever we've covered. And that's going to be a theme that you're going to hear me talk about is that only use the content that we have used up to this point. And I'll give you a, you know, if you want to go beyond, there is a step you're going to have to do. So, you know, in all cases, try to conform your, your output to only using what we've learned so far. Okay. And the big thing is really to take some content that you're generating through chat and lay it out in a page and using all the things that we've learned to make that page look good, uh, lay out logically, okay? Now, for the amount of content, make sure you have at least five items listed on the HTML outliner, okay? So let's go look at this. So for our ending, if I look up the outliner, you'll see that we have one main topic, the goals, in this case, it was the goals for the year. So for you, it'd be your topic, that'd be your H1. And now you have a nav. Now where these are untitled, Dave showed us how to make sure these get titled. So make sure you don't have any untitled. I do mark off for that. Uh, and if you don't remember, go back and review. Short hint, make sure there's a heading somewhere in that particular area that you've set that up. So when I talk about in this work, right, that you have at least five items listed in the outliner, uh, this is what I mean, right? So come back here again, right? So one, two, three, four, you need one more to meet that. So when you're looking at the amount of content, that's what you want to think about. And then these would be, now this is actually sub uh, topic underneath here. Uh, but what I will also say is you'll, at least on two of the five, you'll also want to have more subtopics as well. Okay. And again, you can look at this structure to see how that was done, but it was done through the semantic tags. But, you know, part of this is really just figuring out how to take content and lay it out in this way. Okay, so this is where I was talking about at least two of the outlined items need to be subtopics. So hopefully that helps. Now, at this point, if you have this ready to go, you can go ahead and hit commit message uh, in um, index setup. Now you can come back later and do some more work to it. So don't worry too much about that. And then you will create another file, the about.html, which by the way, these should all be lowercase, no spaces, and the .html for both the index and the about. So use the basic uh, tags and uh, semantic tags uh, for uh, to set up the page, right? And then for the content, you're going to have two. So in this case, this, this would be logically two sections. Uh, you could make articles, you could make sides here, you can decide how you want to do this. One will be, why are you taking this course? So I see a heading here, I say some content here, right? And then uh, what did you think of using chat GPT uh, for researching your selected topic, okay? Now, so that will be the content, and for the amount of content here, at least two items listed, okay, on the HTML outliner. So again, where you had to have five, you only have to have two here, and I don't even require subtopics, so that should be pretty doable, right? Now, on the index and on the about, create an ordered or an unordered list with the items uh, of home and about, Right, so that was the example I was showing you here where it goes back and forth. Now also remember that each page has metadata, right? So a title needs to be unique for each page, some, some metadata and then like name and author. So you wanna work on those things because that's all stuff we learned up in here, right? So you wanna have those be uh, unique. Okay, so now, uh, once you get that done, now you commit about.html complete, okay? Now, on the attendance, I've already gone over how to create images. Um, so if you want to review back to that, you can. Um, then using whatever free AI generation uh, image tool you want, and you have seen me use Bing, you can use other things. Pixlr is another one I will have shown, so 
Create two images for your index page and one for the about page. Uh, on the about, you could either um, you can generate one or you could put a picture of yourself. You're not required to do that, but you can choose what image here. Now these images would be related to that content, so you'd want to make sure those work. Now and again, in attendance, I've talked about making sure your images are not too large or small and how to modify them, so make sure they work in the page. Also make sure you always have your images inside a figure and you use fig caption. Now I'll give you an example of mine here. Like here's an image I created with um, Bing. Uh, image generate. Actually, this was actually only generated by Bing. So here's a fig caption. This image is inside of a fig. Right, so a fig tag that has an image, right, and all that. And then using the new uh, referencing that I talked about in attendance, I mean, you'll need to make sure you handle that as well. And that would be where, because from now on, because we're going to end up putting our project in both our private uh, and at the very end in the public, we're going to want to have an images folder that's shared with any work we do that is in subdirectories. So hopefully you got that. And if not, you know, check back on the attendance I where I've gone over that. Okay, so for here, uh, create a folder. I already talked about this at the same level, right? And I will have covered it. And I, this is the fig and the fig caption that I just talked about. Oh yeah, and by the way, always make sure these pages validate. Uh, make sure you're doing that as you go along. And then once you get your images, right? Images created and placed on pages. And then, um, so after this point, you can continue to work. You could use your own commit messages, whatever you want to come up with, right? Now, only use, and this is what I was saying above, only use HTML and CSS we've covered so far. Don't go beyond that. Now, if you absolutely can't take it and you have to go beyond that, okay, there's actually reasons I say don't go, don't go, but if, and you know, I also don't want to, people who have additional skills, and sometimes what happens is people who have that know how to do things that make the page look sim very nice without a huge amount of effort, but if you're going to do it, uh, you're going to need to add an additional page called reference and go over the HTML or CSS um, that we that you've included that we haven't covered, right? And then you place that in the footer, which by the way, I didn't even talk about this, but as part of the semantic tags, you do want to make sure you have a footer. And you could absolutely look at the way Dave does his, right? Uh, here in this area. Uh, and I said this before, but I'll repeat it. You do not for this assignment have to do the form we will do that. But I would want to see all the other HTML that we've learned uh, that was included in uh, the index and the about from our code along. Okay, so right, this is only required if you go out. Okay, so now what you're going to end up doing, and I'll show you about how to post the URL in a minute, right? But what you'll get, uh, 80 points will come from doing this work uh, successfully, making everything, making sure everything renders correctly. And then 20 points is going to come from you reviewing somebody else's site, right? And that's what I talk about here is, um, and by the way, it only go look for somebody who hasn't got a, a reply because we really just want to look at each other's work and give feedback, right? So here's the kind of stuff you could start with. Like if were you not able to see their website from the link, right? And I'll talk about the link as the last thing here, right? Give them feedback. Maybe their images were broken, not showing up, right? And this is what I was saying. If somebody's already given them feedback, then find another student and make sure you're doing a substantive reply, not just, yeah, that looks okay. Actually give them a detailed look and give them that um, as your reply. Okay, so as part of the attendance for week two, I had you go set up this URL and it was pointed to your pub. So once you push your code to GitHub, right, you'll be able to do take this URL and add W3 at the end because that's the subdirectory. Now for mine, I haven't pushed it yet, but I'm just telling you, if I copy that, now what you also want to do is when you're working is check that to make sure that when it's being pushed to that site that it is actually working, okay, that it is rendering correctly. Right? So you won't be able to do this until the first time you push code to it. But remember, it is always good to check because this is the way the web sees it versus how you're looking at it locally. Okay, so here's what it would look like when you reply here. Right, you can give the URL. And by the way, if you hit enter, I talked about this before, make sure it is a link. 
right? And then I don't have this on here. I will put it, you know, write at least 100 words about your experience here of doing this. Anything that, you know, you ran into that you feel like you want, you know, that Anyway, just your experience of doing this, okay? And that will be your post. <clears throat> so make sure it's a link, right? Then you post that reply, make sure it works, uh, and then you'll be good to go. Okay, I hope you have fun with this. Uh, this is intended to be fun, uh, I hope. Uh, come see me if you need help or go see Zach as well.